What's going on everyone? My name is Bro Show. Welcome back to a brand new video. And today I'm going to be showing you guys my top 5 favorite locations in Breath of the Wild. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild has an expanse of different locations and terrain to traverse and explore from grassy fields to a volcanic inferno. These are my top 5 favorite locations in Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. The fifth location on my list is the Great Plateau. The Great Plateau is where Link awakes from his 100 year slumber and is the birthplace of Hyrule. The first area you explore teaches you the basics of the game and in it you encounter your first overworld boss and you're introduced to returning enemies like Moblins, Bokoblins, Octoroks, and Chews. You're also introduced to the first four shrines in the Temple of Time. The Great Plateau shows you what's in store for the rest of the game and for that reason, it's one of the most memorable places in Breath of the Wild. Number four on my list is Terrytown. I love the whole Hylian homeowner quest and the from the ground up quest. Building the town from the ground up and inviting new characters of different races across Hyrule to set up shop in your town is amazing. All have specific talents and different items and have specific functions to Terrytown and that's what makes Terrytown one of the most memorable and fun places on my list. And that's why it's number four. The third area was Lurland Village. Lurland Village was an area that I discovered pretty late during my playthrough of the game. And I love how I just came across it out of nowhere. Lurland Village is a fishing village with beautiful beaches and some of the clearest water in the game. The place is a tropical paradise, all tucked away in a little cove. You can buy a variety of sea life from the market or catch it along the coast for cooking. The tropical setting and beaches is unlike anywhere else in Hyrule and that's why I'm giving it number three. Number two on my list is the Gerudo Desert. The Gerudo Desert was one of the last of the main areas that I went to and seeing the amazing open desert for the first time was amazing. It reminds me of where I'm from in Arizona and how the heat is so hot, it basically kills you. There's a lot of areas to explore like the Great Cliffs, Karakara Bazaar, and Gerudo Town. Also down south, you're introduced to an overworld boss specific to the Gerudo Desert, Molduga. The Yigi Clan hideout was the most fun and memorable mission in the entire area, and Master Koga was one of the coolest boss fights in the game, and that's why it's my number two. The fifth area on my list is the final, Hyrule Castle. Hyrule Castle is by far one of my favorite areas, and I love it because of how many enemies, so many super powerful enemies in Hyrule Castle, and there's tons of bosses. Last time I played through it, I found a talus, like down in the basement or something somewhere, and it was, I loved it. Because even I went through again and it was something I still hadn't experienced. But I love, you get the Hyrule shield, you get, there's a lot of royal weapons which are even more powerful. And there's also tons of bosses all over. And I think it does a good job at hyping everything up. Along with the music on that final trek when you're going up to defeat Calamity Ganon. And then finally leading up to Calamity Calamity Ganon is amazing. And that final fight, I like the first fight better, but I thought it was pretty cool. And that is why it's number one on my list. So tell me if you guys agree with me or not. I had a lot of fun making this list and if you guys want to see more videos like this, I'll bring them out. I'll be sure to bring them out for you guys. And if you like this video, please leave a like, leave a comment, and also subscribe. And I'll see you guys in more videos like this. So I've been Bro Show, and I'll see you guys in the next video.